Hey, what up? This is OP from Serato. Serato Studio now has MIDI mapping. This means you can use industry standard MIDI controllers to map functions inside of Serato Studio to enhance your beat making process. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up some basic MIDI mappings with MIDI controllers. Let's go. Before mapping functions in Serato Studio to your MIDI controller, it's important to think about what you wanna map and how it'll be helpful for your workflow. For features that you press in Serato Studio, you should map them to buttons on your controller. For features that you move, turn, or fade inside of Serato Studio, you should map them to knobs or faders. It's worth noting that some MIDI controllers map features differently based on the manufacturer's MIDI protocol. You might need to refer to the controller user guide when mapping to Serato Studio. In Serato Studio, you'll see the MIDI button highlighted when you have the MIDI controller connected to your computer. With the MIDI button pressed, and it's purple, you are now in the mode to map features. When you move your mouse over the parameter, you'll see the message, click to assign a MIDI control. Let's map the play button in the sequencer section. Press the play button here and press the MIDI control that you want to assign. Then press the play button on the controller. Now when you press the play button, it will start to play the sequencer. Please note that the play button works in the sequencer section as well in the song view. When you press it again, it will stop. Let's map the fader for the drum deck and the sequencer. Hover the mouse over the pad volume fader and press it. My MIDI controller has knobs, so I'll map the first one to the pad volume fader. I'll do the same thing for the deck volume fader with the second knob on my controller. If your controller does not have faders, you can use the knobs on your controller. Please note that the fader that you have selected will also be mapped to control the selected fader in the mixer section. If needed, you can reverse the movement of the volume fader by pressing reverse here while mapping. If your MIDI controller has the option to have responsive lights on the pads, you can press the letter L to have the pad light up on pressing. Let's map the MIDI controller to navigate the library. When the MIDI button is turned on, you'll notice that your library view has changed and you have some options for navigating features inside of Serato Studio. Let's map some library navigation options to speed up my sample finding and loading. In the library section, you'll see that there's a symbol for library focus. Click on it and map it to a button on the controller. Now, let's make a mapping to move up and down with your cursor in the library. Here, map the library scroll knob. Click on the library scroll knob and turn the knob on your controller. Here, let's map a button to load a sample onto a deck. Click on load to new deck. Then press a button on the controller to map the feature. Let's set up a mapping to scrub through the sample to set up some cue points. Go here and click on Scrub Overview, then turn a knob on your controller. Now you can scrub through the sample and easily set up cue points where you want them. For an easy workflow to move between your decks, you can MIDI map buttons to move up and down between them. Go here and press Previous and Next buttons and map them to buttons on your controller. Now you'll be able to move up and down through the decks. Let's get creative with an effects mapping to be a bit more expressive. Let's map two effects buttons to one button on the controller and the same with two effects knobs on one knob. Open up the effects tab here. Click on MIDI here and then map the first effects button here. Then click on the second effects button. Then you'll see overwrite or add additional mapping. When you choose add additional mapping, the one button will then control the on and off for both effects slots. Follow the same step, but do it for the effects knob instead. Now, if you want to use an echo and a reverb at the same time, you can do so. Once you've made the mapping that you like, it's pretty easy to save your MIDI mapping. When you save your project after you've mapped the controller, the mapping will automatically save to Serato Studio and will work when you start up a new project or open up an old one. We recommend saving your preferred custom mapping as your default template. 
just in case you mess around with your mapping in the future. If you make a MIDI mapping that you like and you want to share with other producers who have the exact same hardware, you can do so. Because mappings get saved to the project, you can also share the project with a friend, along with the unique hardware mapping. So that's an overview of MIDI mapping with Serato Studio. I've shown you some basic mappings, but you can get as creative as you want to based on the MIDI controller that you're working with. For more information on MIDI mapping, check out our support knowledge base in the description. And also check out our quick tip videos on at Serato Production on Instagram. And if you're new to Serato Studio, download it from serato.com forward slash studio and try out MIDI mapping on your own. Thank you.